Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on probability. In this video, we'll be looking at problems involving Venn diagrams. So we start with the problem. In a class of 30 puppies, 18 puppies offer physics, 13 offer chemistry, while 5 puppies offer none of the two subjects. A puppy is selected at random from the class. Find the probability that he offers A, both subjects, B, only physics. So in finding solution to this problem, we use the rectangle to represent the entire class, which is the universal set. Then we now use a circle to represent the puppies offering physics and the second circle to represent the puppies offering chemistry. So we're told that five puppies offer none of the two subjects. That is to say, they are going to be outside the two circles. So anywhere outside the two circles, we are told 18 puppies offer physics. So the entire circle here is going to be 18 puppies. Also, 13 offer chemistry. The entire circle here is going to represent the puppies offering chemistry. And be informed that the intersection here are those offering both physics and chemistry. But since out of the 30 puppies, only five are offering none of the two subjects, we can then look for the number of puppies offering physics and chemistry. That is going to be N of P union C. That's going to give us 30 minus 5. 30 minus 5, which gives 25. And we know that from our formula, this is an example of non-exclusive events because you see a pupil offering physics and at the same time offering chemistry. So we have the relation in our previous video of probability that N of P union C is equal to N of P plus N of C minus N of P intersection C. So that if we make this n of p intersection c as the subject of the formula, because we need to find that it's going to be n of p intersection c is equal to, this is coming to this side and this is going to this side. So n of p plus n of c then minus n of p union c. We've gotten n of p union c to be 25, n of p to be 18, and n of c to be 13. So we substitute. That's going to give us 18 plus 13 minus 25. This is 31 minus 25, giving us 6, which means the intersection here is 6. And we have established initially that the whole of this circle represents the 18 puppies offering physics. So to get those offering physics only without chemistry, we are going to have 18 minus 6, which gives 12. In the same way, this circle is 13. So to get those offering chemistry but not physics is going to be 13 minus 6, which gives 7. So with this Venn diagram, we have the four groups of puppies. Those offering physics only, those offering both physics and chemistry, those offering chemistry only, and those offering none of the two subjects. If you add them up, we are going to have 30 puppies in the class. Then we go to A. For A, a puppy is selected at random from the class. Find the probability that he offers both subjects. So that's going to be the probability of P intersection C, which is going to be the number of puppies offering both subjects over the total number of puppies in the class, giving us 6 over 30. To the simplest form, we have it as 1 over 5. We then go ahead to B. So for B, we are to find the probability that a student selected at random from the class offers only physics. This offering only physics are 12. Physics but not chemistry. So the probability of P intersection C prime as P only is going to be 12 over 30 and in the simplest form we have it as 2 over 5. 
And that's all for the solution of this problem in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Until we come your way again, goodbye.